Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In our last MCQ video, we had discussed about fluid mechanics. If you haven't watched the video yet, do check the link above. Today we will discuss a few MCQs on concrete technology, which are important both for the end semester exams of BTEC and diploma level, as well as for all the competitive exams under APSC, like PWD Assistant Engineer, PWD Junior Engineer, PHE, WRE, Lecturer in Polytechnics, Irrigation, etc. So let's get started with the video. So the first question is the volume of cement in one bag is and the options are given as 0.067 meter cube, 0.050 meter cube, 0.033 meter cube and 0.025 meter cube. So we know that density of cement is equal to 1440 kg per meter cube. We also know that density is given by mass by volume. Therefore, volume which is asked in the question is equal to mass of cement by density of cement. Now what is the mass of cement in one bag? One bag of cement has 50 kg cement. So the mass is 50 and the density is 1440 kg per meter cube. So the volume is 50 by 1440 which is equal to 0 0.034 meter cube. So what will be the answer? The answer is option C that is 0. 033 meter cube. Now let us come to the next question. Which of the following coarse aggregates requires minimum cement paste? Now this question is about the workability of concrete. What is workability? Workability is the property of concrete which describes the ease with which we can work with the concrete. I mean, concrete mix place finish that is known as workability. And this workability it depends on several factors and the shape of the aggregate is one of them. Now, workability is a basic thing. cement paste to come. The more the workability, the less amount of cement paste we require. Now, for all the, among all the types of the shape of the aggregates, the rounded aggregate is the most workable aggregate. In case of rounded aggregate, our workability is the basic And we know that workability is a basic cement paste amak himane komke lagibo to work with the aggregate. The more the workability, the less the cement paste. So since the workability is highest for rounded aggregates, therefore we require minimum cement paste in case of rounded aggregates. So this is the answer, option A, rounded. Next question is, according to Indian standard specifications, full strength of concrete is achieved after. Now, Concrete logalo ketya strength achieve no kore, gutekini strength. So after different number of days, it achieves different percentages of strength. For example, at seven days, it achieves around 65% of strength and it goes on increasing. And at around 28 days, the strength is almost equal to 99%. So we can say that the full strength of concrete is achieved after option D, that is 28 days. Next question is, ultimate strength to cement is provided by, and there are four options given, and these options, that is tricalcium silicate, dicalcium silicate, tricalcium aluminate, and tetracalcium aluminophilite, these are known as the box compounds. And, gutegita compound are belek belek top koti thake, and zitu ultimate strength hoy, or the strength which is developed in the later part, is always provided by the dicalcium silicate. So this is the answer option B, dicalcium silicate. Next question, the type of cement recommended for use in large mass concrete works such as dams is and the four options are given. Now when we work in large mass concrete works such as dams which is given in the question, then what type of construction are key? There is excessive amount of cement will be used. So Iman cement use koila mar ki hobo, Iman kini cement use hobo, amar hydration ho, Iman besi hobo, hydration which is the reaction between the cement and water. 
So, our excessive heat produce our tendency. Thake. So, to avoid that, to avoid the production of excessive heat, we always have to use a type of cement that produces low heat. So, in this case, that kind of cement is the low heat Portland cement. So, the answer is option C, low heat Portland cement, which is to be used in large mass concrete work such as dams. Next question is CaCl2 is added in cement in order to. Now CaCl2 which is calcium chloride. Calcium chloride ki kore it accelerates the hydration process. What is the hydration process? Hydration is the reaction between cement and water. Aru hydration process ki kore it is responsible for the strength development. Now since Calcium chloride or CaCl2 accelerates the hydration process. Therefore, it is added in cement to accelerate the early strength development of concrete because hydration, the process of hydration is responsible for the development of the early strength of concrete. The next question is, for testing of compressive and tensile strength of cement, the cement mortar is made by mixing cement and standard sand in the proposition of and these are the four ratios given, that is the ratio of cement to standard sand. Now we know that for performing the compressive strength and the tensile strength test of cement, we have to make the cement mortar. And what is cement mortar? Cement mortar is the mixture of cement, sand and water. And here mortar to bonabo karne and cement are standard sands to use koru. We have to use it in a particular ratio and that ratio is option D, that is 1 is to 3. Next question is a good quality cement should have higher percentage of and these are the four options given. Now if silica is used in higher percentage then uh, it is difficult for the cement to fuse and form clinkers and if free lime is used in higher content then it can cause unsoundness to the cement and out of dicalcium silicate and tricalcium silicate it is the tricalcium silicate which is found in the maximum percentage in a good quality cement. So a good quality cement should have higher percentage of fry calcium silicate. So that is the answer is option D. The next question is for using quality concrete we use and the four options are given as single size aggregates, two size aggregates, graded aggregates and coarse aggregates and we always know that the best type of aggregates to be used to produce the quality concrete is always option C that is graded aggregates. The next question is which sand is the coarsest of all? Now we have uh, used the zones of the sand for the mixed design problems. If you haven't watched the video do check it out. I have linked it above and we have seen from the IS code that uh, the so from zone 1 to zone 4 the size of the sand becomes finer so the zone 1 has the coarsest sand and the zone 4 will have the finest sand so uh, as you in, go on increasing the zone the size of the sand goes on decreasing so which sand will be the coarsest of all the coarsest sand will be zone 1 thanks for watching if you have any query related to any kind of MCQ on any subject, you can write to us in the email address given in the description box. Do follow our Facebook page. Do not follow to hit the like, share and subscribe buttons. And also click on the bell icon to never miss an update from our channel.